access your free language gifts right now before they expire. First, the Talking About Language PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet will teach you how to talk about languages and phrases like, I can speak a little bit of, I've been learning for three years, and much more. Second, do you know how to connect ideas in your target language? With this one minute lesson, you'll pick up must know words like but, also, instead, therefore, and much more. Third, the 50 most common nouns that all beginners must know. Do you know all of these nouns? If not, this lesson teaches you the 50 must know nouns fast. Learn them effortlessly with the audio slideshow tool inside. Fourth, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. How well do you know your verbs? This lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. Fifth, the All the Language You Need for Everyday Life Cheat Sheet Bundle. Get all of our best conversation cheat sheets rolled up into one with this gift. Download it right now before it disappears. And sixth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who's watched this far. If you visit the link below, we'll send you over to our library of language learning audiobooks, which you can get for free. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to integrate self-study and learning with a teacher and learn faster. Since you're learning a language, are you learning on your own or are you also learning with a teacher? If you are, but if you're learning different things on the app and different things from your teacher, you're actually spreading yourself thin and slowing your progress. And that's because you're skipping key steps of the learning process. So today, you'll discover why learning separate things from separate sources slows you down, how combining the two helps you learn faster and hits on all the key steps of the learning process, and how to apply these tactics. But first, if you're looking for new, free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking About Language PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet will teach you how to talk about languages and phrases like, I can speak a little bit of, I've been learning for three years, and much more. And second, the All the Language You Need for Everyday Life Cheat Sheet Bundle, where you get all of our best conversation cheat sheets rolled up into one with this gift. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. How to integrate self-study and learning with a teacher and learn faster. Part one, do you combine self-study and learning with others? If you think about it, most language learners learn on their own with a few different resources, a few apps, and maybe a textbook. And then you have learners that do both self-study and learning with a tutor. But for the most part, they learn different things from different sources. Words on this app, different phrases on that app, and maybe some unrelated grammar with a tutor. Is this something you do? Because if you do, then this disconnected approach can slow your language progress down. How exactly? There's a simple formula to learning successfully. Successful learning requires one, acquiring new information, two, practicing using what you've learned, three, getting feedback and implementing it, and then four, getting assessed, someone telling you if you're on the right track or not. So if you wanna learn fast, you'll want to do all of these things. Now, if you're learning alone, then you're mostly just acquiring new information, new words from this app, unrelated phrases from that app, and so on. You're just jumping from resource to resource without practicing and getting feedback on what you've learned. And you're not going to remember what you learn as well. 
you're missing some critical steps of the learning process, namely the practice, feedback, and assessment from a native teacher. And even if you are learning on your own and with a teacher, but there's no overlap with your self-study, you're still missing the practice for what you're doing on your own. So it's best to combine your self-study with what you're doing with a teacher so that you learn on your own and go on to practice what you've learned with a teacher and get feedback. Now, you might be thinking, why not just learn with a teacher then, without self-study? If you're learning with a tutor or teacher, then it also becomes a question of time. You're on a limited schedule. Your teachers are on a limited schedule. Plus, you have to pay for their time too. Let's say you have one hour of classes a week with a native speaking teacher. How would you want to spend it? Do you want to spend that hour listening to grammar explanations and learning new words? Or do you want to use that time practicing speaking and getting feedback? If you spend that hour learning words and grammar rules, then you have to wait until the next time to practice. And that takes even more time, money, and slows down your progress. So it's better to learn and prepare ahead of time on your own, and then practice those concepts with the teacher later. But if you don't prepare ahead of time, you become like that one person you probably had in your class. They didn't come prepared and the teacher always had to stop and explain everything to them and slow the class down. There's always one person like that. And it'd be better for the student and their progress if they prepared on their own. So the point of integrating self-study and learning with others is to make the most of your time with a teacher. Practice what you've learned on your own and get feedback as you practice. Otherwise, if you come to a teacher without preparation, they'll just spend the time explaining grammar rules or reviewing vocabulary, and it's not actually implementing what you've learned on your own, which you won't get to practice until next time, if at all. And if you're just doing self-study, then you likely won't get a chance to practice at all, but it's the practice and feedback that helps the language stick, and that's the part you can't skip. Part two, how to integrate self-study in learning with others. So, here's what you can do. One, join our live group classes. We're currently offering live group classes for Japanese, English, Italian, Chinese, Korean, Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, Greek, and Thai. Our live classes provide you with lessons you can study on your own. And then you get to practice with our teachers in the live classes. Two, find a teacher or tutor that works with the same resource that you have, whether it's our program or a textbook. Have the tutor see what you're studying so they can match. And it's important that there's overlap, that what you're learning with the tutor and on your own is the same. So you can learn on your own and practice with the teacher. Three, you can also try our Premium Plus plan if you're not quite ready for live classes. Our Premium Plus teachers are familiar with our learning program, so there's no disconnect between what you learn on your own and what you'll learn with them. And four, find a friend or a community that's learning with the same resource as you. That way, you can practice with them and they can step in and clear up any questions that you may have. So, do you combine self-study and learning with others? Or do you plan to? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about your pronunciation is terrible. Is pronunciation important or not? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. If you want to learn the language fast, there are some little-known learning hacks that you can use with our system. Five learning hacks that you didn't know about. And in this quick guide, you'll discover one, how to understand and pick up on every word with the read-along method, two, how to improve your speaking and pronunciation with one tool, three, how to immerse yourself in native dialogues, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. <laughs> Ever listen to a conversation between native speakers and wish you could follow along with a transcript? Well, you can. In fact, 
Listening and reading along is a popular learning hack for mastering a language. You pick up on every word, you improve your listening skills, reading skills, and engage multiple senses at once, which improves recall. And you can do just that with our lessons. On every lesson page, you get the complete word-for-word -word transcript to read along with. Shadowing is another popular language learning trick, and it's where you repeat what you hear as a way to improve your speaking skills. So as you're taking our lessons, you can shadow the lesson conversation, and you can do this easily with the line-by-line -line audio dialogue, which breaks up the conversation into individual lines. Just press play on the audio to listen and then repeat. You can also use the pronunciation practice tool to compare yourself to native speakers. Just press the microphone icon, record yourself speaking the line, and then you can hear how your pronunciation compares to the native speaker. The dialogue tracks give you just the conversation of the lessons, no translations, so that you can review the conversations without retaking lessons. And if you're learning with our app, you can just set the dialogue tracks on autoplay and immerse yourself in different types of dialogues, boost your listening skills, and drill all the conversations into your brain. Just go into the settings on the app, and in autoplay, make sure autoplay is on. Turn on dialogue, turn off the other tracks, also set play next lessons to on, and the app will do the rest for you. Now, if you're not sure whether you're getting the most out of the lesson or not, well, if you follow our lesson checklists, you'll walk away knowing more of the language guaranteed. This premium PDF can be found inside the PDF download section of the lesson and gives you bonus tips to follow. Just print out the checklist and fill it out with every lesson. The word bank is kind of like your extended brain, where you can save words and phrases that you come across to the word bank, so you review them later. Just look for the word bank in the vocabulary menu on the site. But what's cool is you can also create printable study sheets for your words and phrases as well. Just click on Printer-Friendly Version. You can also click Export Word Bank. If you've organized and labeled your words into categories, such as verbs and adjectives, you can select that label and export it as a PDF. Then print the file out. You can write on it and keep it as physical study material. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.